baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Hey guys, it's Sharika. Welcome back to my channel. I know I had y'all shaking like a stripper just the end because I had y'all posted up on the on the stairwell but girl i just left the gym i had a really good workout now i'm headed to sprouts because i have a few things that i need to pick up today is just going to be a chill day for me it's monday this video doesn't go out until tomorrow but i decided to just go ahead and start my vlog so i hope everybody had a good weekend thank you to everyone that watched my last video i really do appreciate it girl we are friends okay but I'm running in the sprouts. I'm pulling up now. Y'all know it's next to Green Papaya. <sighs> but it's 949, so I can't go in there and get that. But um, yeah, let me run in sprouts really quick. I just need some orange juice. A few more things to juice for my green juice. Because I'm juicing some green juice today. And um, I want to get some coffee. Some decaffeinated coffee so we're gonna do that i guess i, I could have parked right in the front i'm going back and getting that parking spot So, I just left out of Sprouts. Of course, I got more than what I came in there for. But, y'all, I spent $165 in there. Like, this is getting ridiculous. And it's I have to go to the store a lot because I buy a lot of fresh produce. And y'all know you have to eat that stuff up within three, four days. So... I mean, I cannot believe $165 is crazy. I'm going to have to just always go to Trader Joe's. But I love Sprouts. But I can't keep doing this. <laughs> and this is all that I was able to get for $165. My papaya and pineapple still in the car because, girl, I was tired. So I'll have to get that out later. But let me show y'all what I bought. Romaine lettuce, creamers, instant coffee, cheese, hummus, croutons, late July chips, decaf coffee, cod, detox shots, orange juice, plant-based sausage, and two pizzas. I've never tried these pizzas before. They look really good. So um, I got two different ones, one for me and my son for lunch. So I got the margarita with basil, and then this one is for me right here, but I do like this one too. But this is the roasted mushroom pizza. If my son wants some of this one, we could just split both of them because I like this one too. So we might do just half and half, um, but they look so good, right? So I was thinking about for lunch, uh, we can do pizza and salad. I wanted to do a decaf instant coffee for when I do my Dalgona coffee. And I grabbed the wrong one, so I have to take this one back and switch it out. I could have sworn I read decaf. I guess I was looking at something else. That sucks, but it's okay. And then I wanted to try these sausage. I've never seen these before. I really don't mess with the uh, plant-based meats, like the vegan option meats like that. Um, but this is my first time seeing these. So I decided to just grab some just to try it out. We'll see. I'll let y'all know if I like them or not. If you guys are wondering why I'm getting decaf coffee, the reason why is because I just like the coffee taste. I'm not a, the type of person that just needs coffee like to wake up and stuff like that. I just really enjoy the taste. So I figure why take in all that extra caffeine if I don't need it. So I decided to just do 
decaffeinated coffee, which I think my Starbucks coffee that I have in here, I want to say this one is decaffeinated. Let me look. I think that Starbucks coffee is decaffeinated. Where is it? I had a little bit more maybe that's the last of it but if I'm not mistaken I did buy decaf coffee for my coffee machine because like I said I don't um like I'm not like oh I just need a coffee in the morning wake me up this is the coffee that I've been buying probably over five years when I do my Dalgona coffees this is the instant coffee so I decided, well, I'll just start getting decaf. Why not? So I'm getting ready to put this stuff up. I don't know if I'm going to run back to Sprouts right now. I might do it a little bit later. I'm getting ready to fix my son some breakfast. I got to wake him up because he be on that game all night with his friends when they be on these little breaks. So um, what time is it? It's 1049. I let him sleep in for a little bit longer. And then I'm going to wake him up, fix him some breakfast, probably some bacon and eggs and grits. Yeah, some grits. And then here is my bill. $165. This is crazy. Update on the mush. I just opened my first one. Absolutely not. I, uh -uh. It says stir me, but oh my God. I am a big texture girl and this okay let's let's just stir it let's stir it up I mean why is it so watery like this I like my oatmeal dry uh-uh I can't eat this uh-uh It's very soupy. So I have to try to pop this in the microwave because I like my oatmeal dry. And if I eat it runny like this, it's because I wanted to add some type of milk myself. Okay. This is just too runny for me. Here is my sausage. I tried one already. It was really good. I like to put, um, girl, why I just did this to, to focus in on the <laughs> I like to put syrup on my sausage and I have some grits cooking so I'm gonna have this and some grits this morning some cheesy grits and then I'm gonna make my way back to Sprouts to turn the coffee y'all okay, today is Tuesday I'm getting ready to go to the gym we're going to Dick's sporting goods today because I need to find me some more workout shirts like I just have to. I'm wearing my aloe workout top today. Let me hold set y'all down so y'all can see it. it looks, it's kind of like it's a little baggy. It has this zipper right here on the side. But yeah, I need to go find me some workout stuff for real because the tops that I have, they're just old. And I keep wearing the same stuff over and over again. Now I done started dipping in my husband's stuff, girl, trying to sneak it back in there. So I gotta go get me some more stuff. Drop my son off to school and then get sporting goods. But do y'all wear perfume to the gym? Cause I do. I like to wear perfume to the gym. I told y'all I would wear my YSL Intense to the gym. But I wanna try a new combination this morning. I was on the Explore page on Instagram and it was a perfume page and she said to try these two together so this is the newest YSL what's the name of this and then this is the Valentino the newest Valentino so she said put these together and it smells amazing so I'm gonna try it today I just I love YSL so much okay and y'all know what else I've been loving. Y'all know I have a big 
uh, perfume collection. But this week I've been wearing this one and it smells so good once it dry completely down to me. It smells really good to me. Some people might like it, but everybody not gonna like the same stuff. But to me, it smells really good when it dries. I wore this a lot last week to bed because I do wear perfume to bed. Girl, for me, my husband be getting out snuggle on, okay? Good. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna mix this this morning and see if I'm feeling the vibe. I'm just spraying a little bit on my arm because you don't want nothing too heavy in the gym. But I like just like a little fresh light scent. Mm. Mm. If y'all have these two, try it and let me know what you think. Me personally, I like it. It smells really good. It smells really fruity. I like it. I have like three glasses. This is my YSL Intense, which y'all can see I wear the crap out of this. I bought the small bottle, which I should have bought the bigger one. This is, what ounce is this? How many ounces this is? This is the one fluid ounce bottle. And I wear this every day to the gym. It's almost gone. And I get so many compliments like, when I go to the store after or wear my earrings, somebody always says something about the way that I smell. So I've been wearing this. This is my gym perfume. <laughs> then this is my regular YSL, which I should have got this size for this one, which is, what is this? This is probably the 2.5. It's not, the top is so dusty too. What is the... Oh, this is a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. So, yeah. I love these bottles. They're so pretty. This one broke at the bottom. Y'all probably can't really see it, but it's okay. I got a little bit left. Y'all, let's smell good together. Y'all try it and let me know what y'all think. Okay, if y'all don't like it, it's okay. Everybody's not gonna like the same things. But I think look, it smell good. All right, let me put this on the back. I'm going to the gym and I'm about to smell so good. All right, so I'm gonna twist this ponytail today. I got a new unit in. I'll be getting new units in, I think like all week, but I'm doing my hair later on today. I got a balayage wig from Arabella. This on my end. Let's go, cause girl, my little son is rushing me and I'm about to. From my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Yeah. Wasn't looking for a lover. Nobody understood where I've been. I guess I thought I needed. All right, y'all, done with the gym. I think I'm gonna go. I have to get um, some paper plates and my husband some beard butter. I'll show y'all the one. He's changed his beard butter from the one that I used to tell y'all that I loved so much because it smelled so good. Um, he changed his beard butter. So now he's getting one by Shea Moisture. So he asked me um, to grab it for him if I go to the store. 
So that was just an excuse for me to go to Target. I haven't been to Target in a while. Well, I guess I did go to Target like last week, but um, I don't think I took you guys to Target in a while because they've been just having the same things. So I'm gonna stick my head in there to see if they put anything out for the spring. And I didn't tell you guys happy spring. I know yesterday was the first day of spring, but I love the springtime. It's so beautiful. So we're gonna go to Target and grab this beer butter for my husband. I'll show you guys which one it is. And then I'm not too sure what time Chipotle opens, but I'm kind of in the mood for Chipotle. Yeah. Amaru. I need a second. I need to think this through. Your words are weapons. Can't you see what you do? Okay, we're over here getting the beer, but I'm gonna show y'all which one it is. This is the one that he like to use now. But that other one smelled so good. Where is it? Let me see if I can find it for y'all. Okay, these little pink trousers. These are cute. I look cute in pink and orange. They have a 12. Oh, they don't have my size. They have a 10, but I can't fit that. The pink ones are cute. They don't have my size either. And I have these already. Yeah, they don't have anything new over here. I've seen all of this stuff before. hungry it just opened so they shouldn't have food all over the countertops i don't like the way that look but i'm gonna go ahead and get me a quick little veggie bowl
y'all. So I'm making some beef stew. And what I like to do is I like to put my meat in plain water, let it let the water boil down. The meat will be tender by then. And then I add my beef broth, season the pot. Once the meat gets really tender, then that's when I add my vegetables. So that's the way I like to do mine. So I'm gonna just let that do its thing for a while. Here is everything that I bought from the store today. So I just bought the beef broth. I saw these two seasonings. I've never tried these before, so I decided to grab this. Um, this one is salt free, it's a garlic and herb, and then this one is a rotisserie chicken. So I grabbed those. I bought some more of my favorite mess, which is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I bought some little temps and I just bought the value pack of the cotton round. So this is 300 in a pack. This is my first time buying this big one like this, but it was like $5. I thought it was a good deal because I think the single pack is maybe like two something, I think. So I just grabbed this one. Had to get some more eyelash glue. This is the glue that I like to use. And then this is the beard butter that my husband likes. And then have y'all tried this Lumi yet? I wanted to try it. So I bought this little small one just to give it a try. And then I wanted to try this green concealer because I've been following this guy on Instagram and he used some of this. So I'm like, okay, I want to try it too. <laughs> and then I bought some of these little gluten-free tortillas because I plan on making some fish tacos this is the tri-color coleslaw that i'll be using some avocado and then i bought some of this to put on the fish tacos because when i went to the restaurant the last time to have some fish tacos they had some type of cheesy sauce so i decided to just try this and see if i like it i'll let y'all know i've tried this before but i want to try it on the fish taco so i'll let you guys know if i like it or not and then of course i bought the bell pepper onion potatoes and thing and the meat for the beef stew for tonight so yeah let me go ahead and put this stuff away that is the wig that i'm getting ready to do you guys will see that on the next vlog so, so this has been this going for up. a while y'all see how the water boils down because you have to add water anyway to your broth so i just like to cook it like this first and then i add my broth seasoning and then let it simmer some more and then once i feel like the meat is tender enough then i add my vegetables and just let it you know simmer on low throughout the day until they get home so right now it is 2:35, so i'm on perfect time so I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings. You can add whatever seasonings you like. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings and my beef broth. And let me just check this meat real quick. It's still not, it's tender, but not as tender as I would like it to be. So now, I'm gonna just add the beef broth. I probably still have to add a little bit of water. I'll probably add like a cup of water. And then I also add like my flour and stuff like that to make the gravy. I add all of that like at the end. Some of y'all might think it's a little backwards, but that's just how I do mine. <laughs> then we're gonna add a little bit of pepper. Add two of these. Y'all, the time has gotten away from me because y'all remember the Lancome sponsorship that I had with TikTok. Well, when they got back with me, they told me that it was supposed to be two videos. So remember how I had everything in one video? They said that 
the serum and the makeup needed to be two separate videos which I didn't mind because two separate videos means two separate payments so I was all about it so I just had to cut the serum clip out of the makeup part that I had and I was able to still use that footage and then I just made another clip for um this is garlic powder yeah I just made another clip for the serum which was easy super simple and easy money <laughs> so I just did all of that A lot of stuff to do today, y'all. All right. Let me taste this water real quick. It needs a little bit of salt, but the flavor is good. This is the salt that I use. I get this from, um, I get this from World Market. that cook for a little bit longer all right y'all 402 and this is done look at this so only thing i have to do now is just make the rice which it shouldn't take long but my son has practice after school today so Whew, it's hot. i'm in my office i'm getting ready to do this hair video so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here you guys will see the hair video on the next video so make sure you guys tune in for that i hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me today don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on instagram at i am sharika b and tiktok sharika b2 and i'll see you guys on the next one i'll holler